print stocks go up, stocks go down, then we see, then we see, then we see. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, banks earnings not good. Earnings lower in general, continue to work lower. It doesn't matter what you believe, the PE on stocks is coming down. Okay? That's all there is to say. It doesn't matter. I see tons and tons of people trying to make shit up on Tesla. Let me tell you about Tesla here. He gouged tons of people. He made a product and he he gouged people like you can't imagine. Think about this. If you can take a $64,000 car and knock it down to 51, <laughs> he was making 30% margins. He's making $19,200. Okay? Okay? Wow. You knock the price down 13 grand. Okay? It still costs you the same to make it. Okay? You can't. People are like, oh, my God, he knocked it down 20%. You got to take 20% off the margin. It doesn't work like that. Math doesn't work like that. If you charge $13,000 less, you subtract $13,000 from what he was selling it at, and that becomes fifty one. So if you made 19000 profit, you have to subtract the 13000 from the nineteen. So now you made 6000 profit. Now, here's... here's why people are just insane. They're saying, okay, now you, you made 6,000 profit. What percent is, is that of, of the $51,000? No, you can't do that. You have to, it, what percentage is it of the 64? Because the car was always 64. Wow. Okay. So it's 64, 10% would be 6,400. So just quick math, fuzzy math, somewhere around 9.5%. Well, regular car companies throughout history have made 5 to 6% cars. And that's it. And that's where Tesla's going. Then the next thing people tell you, immediately like, oh, they're gonna, demand is going to be great. Okay, so demand is great. So make, they make 6,000 a car. They have to sell two extra cars to make the same 19000 They have to sell two more cars to make the same amount of money. So work, they have to double, triple production to make the same amount of money. Jesus, why is this thing not 100 today? It should be 100. Now, I fully understand that a fifty-one thousand dollar car. Now, if you get the credit, if you if you can get the credit, I keep telling you, seventy percent of the people can't even qualify for the credit for the people that would buy that car. Okay, so my Corvette was I don't know was it eighty-two, eighty-three grand. Okay, eighty-four grand, somewhere in there, plus tax. These cars you're selling. Hundred and ten thousand, hundred and thirty thousand, hundred and forty thousand dollar test. This is not a Lamborghini. And let me tell you, Lamborghini and Ferraris, I would not play, pay over two hundred, two fifty for. Okay? Unless they're collector's editions. People are paying like six hundred, seven hundred. I mean, that's just stupid. Because I know somebody that had a Ferrari and uh a very sad situation. He passed away. And she had to try to sell the Ferrari. Price dropped 70 grand to sell that car. To sell that car. Okay? It's not easy. It's not easy. Okay? Now, collectors or Ferraris are different. Okay? They always retain their value. Somebody wants them. Not regular cars. The whole thing on the Tesla car was, oh, there'll be self-driving cars and the car. I mean, I mean the shit people make up. Okay. Now, I, I, I like Tesla. I like the stock. We've made a ton of money on the stock. Okay. A ton of money. So we love Tesla and I like Elon. I'm just telling you, you have to, when you look at stuff, you have to do stuff and you have to do it both ways. So I'm giving you the other side of Tesla right now, okay? So don't get all pissed off. 
bent out of shape. Okay? So here's the thing. Okay? He told you, I mean, I, I, mean, I, I know people that own Tesla. I know people that own three and four. Hell, we got one in, in Menlo, okay, uh, for 110000 okay? So, but let me tell you the bullshit that's happening. So uh, this one guy I know got into an accident with the Tesla, uh, the Model 3. His roommate just banged it. They gave him a date of March 15th that if the car will get fixed. March 15th. March 15th. Now, uh, I told, so his roommate banged it. He said he didn't want to claim it, uh, so he doesn't have a car. I said, well, claim it. Screw the roommate. I mean, you're going to live without a car for two months? Well, I don't know. Can I borrow yours? No. Okay? <laughs> I mean, really stupid. Okay? Think about this. It takes you two months to fix a Model 3. Two months. Can't make this shit up, okay? Let me continue. I'm, I'm giving you a, a thing here why Tesla can implode today. I mean, completely implode, okay? Uh, <laughs> so then you, these people are paying $15,000, $15,000 for a car for self-drive that you can't even give it if you sell the car to somebody it doesn't even go with the car. They got to pay it again. And then the worst thing on a Tesla that anybody ever told me, this is the funniest part, and I just snicker and I walk away. You have a Tesla, and they said, well, the battery will last for 10 years. Okay, battery is going to cost you 20 grand, 25 grand. Who, who the hell has 25 grand for a battery? And if you do, why wouldn't you just buy a new car? Well, Sam, if I put a new battery in there, my car is like new. Do you want to drive a car that's 10 years old? How many people want to buy, drive a car that's 10 years old? Very few. Now, people that have to drive a car that's 10 years old, that's a different story. Okay? People want new. People want new. Why do they sell new houses? People like new stuff. They like new technology. They like the smell of new cars and new seats and new houses and everything else. Okay? Elon is ridiculously smart. I mean, so ridiculously smart. He knows where he can gouge you. And he did. And here's the one thing I'll say about Elon. He also knew when it was coming to an end, and that's why he did what he did. Wow. 3x he has to raise production to break even. Wow. Tumble, tumble, tumble. Okay, CPI. CPI yesterday comes in exactly like it should, but that doesn't mean anything got better. It just means it... It didn't get worse, and it'll slowly get better. Three months, six months, nine months, a year, I don't know. J.P. Morgan beats earnings straight down. UNH beats earnings straight down. People, this guy keeps sending me stuff on, why aren't you, why aren't you buying UNH? Why? Because I don't want to. We had a great week. How about that trade on NOW yesterday? It pops from a dollar eighty to twelve dollars. We got twelve dollars for it, and then we sold them. We bought them again. We bought the one hundred four or fives, and we sold those. And somebody's like Sam. It just traded high a day. Why are you selling it? Because I made thirty thousand more. This is why people lose money. Somebody sent me a message yesterday from the public side. Said. Sam, my Amazon lost money. I'm saying, you bought it at 52 cents. It traded at a dollar. You had 30 minutes to sell it at a dollar. Why are you messaging me? Really? You can't make this stuff up. 
You can't make this stuff up. Guys, nothing is better. If we collapse again, then we will start way, way, way lower. Goldman Sachs was at 280. It's at 350. They're not making a penny more. They're not making a penny more. Then let's go to the other one that's very interesting today is snow. The last three times snow had an outside day. If you guys don't know what an outside day is, is the range. Let's say the stock trades from uh, uh, 135 to 140. So an outside day would be, it would have to trade higher than 140 and lower than 125, 135. That means the range was wider. That's an outside day. That's very rare in stocks, okay? The last time that happened, I said, snow has an outside day. When it has an outside day, it runs huge. And it dropped $20. And a dollar went to what, $350, $5, whatever it was. We made a massive, massive trade. Okay, well, it had an outside day yesterday to the upside. So technically, in a market that's just average, it should be up 10 today. It's not. It's not. It's not. Okay, so just know this, know this, know this. Now, does SPX hold? Sure. It can hold between this 3,900 and 4,000 range. <coughs> Maybe. So then we see, then we see. Okay? Uh, but you have to sell stuff. Everything. MDB was up percentage-wise, what, 40%. Everything was up. And now everything's heading back down. Okay? If you take UNH by the numbers, what they make? 520, 540, 530, let's say 550. That's 20,000, five times four is 20, 50 cents times four is, 20, is two, add that, $22. They make $22 a year. Times that by 20 PE, that's $440. 440, it's not 520. That's why I didn't buy it, super high PE. They're selling super high PE stuff. Now, yesterday we had a chance for the market to break up, to completely break up and have a good two, three, four weeks. Didn't happen. So now, right back down. Let things go lower again. Nothing getting better. Had a great week, so just kind of chill. Chill, 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 chill. Then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay? Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so that's what we know. Okay, let's get started. Let me go to comments, questions here real quick. Third quarter GDP increase shows no recession, right? Last 24 BA report. Actually, probably correct. There's a Michigan sentiment survey. Does it pop and drop? I don't know. So, but interesting. So how, how far do the banks drop? I don't know. Don't know. Jim. JP Morgan, I don't know if they've made any comments yet. Is he saying it's going to get way worse? Or people, uh, here's, so I told Letitia this, what, maybe 18 months ago. So I have a bunch of credit cards, and I have these credit lines, and some of the credit lines are like 60 grand, one is like 80 grand. They cut it 20 grand about a year ago. And I'm like, they cut my credit line 20 grand. Now, I don't use it, you know, I mean, I paid mine off every month, but they cut it 20 grand. And over the course of the last six months, they've cut my credit lines at least five grand on, on all of them, the ones that I have, at least five grand on each one. That's telling you on a regular person. So let's say a regular person had a credit line of, I don't know, well, let's say 10 grand. And you 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 have charged say seven grand. If they cut that credit line to eight grand, you're kind of effed. You screwed. You screwed, right? But why do they do that? Because they think you're not going to be able to pay. And then when you can't pay, 
people like, well, I can't pay. I'm just going to run it up anyway, declare bankruptcy or whatever. That's why they cut them. But that started a year ago, not just recently. That's money. Money supply getting tighter. Okay? Interesting, interesting. SPX down 37, continues to go lower. Uh, 37 here. 33 would have put it at 39.50, so you're at four more. 30, uh, 39.46. It's at 39.46. 3930, 3900, then we see, then we see, then we see. Avago working back lower, 571, 562, uh, 551. NVIDIA is higher. This, I don't know what's going on with NVIDIA. NVIDIA is higher. 159, 151. Land Research, 141, 140, eh, five, eh. Uh, <laughs> NVIDIA. 163, 171. Avago, 171, 162. Lamb Research, 461, 459, 451. UNH, 488, 482. Needs 500 to get better. Apple, 129, 126. Microsoft, 3, 219. If and when it hits 219, okay. Amazon, if as long as it holds over 90, it still stays bullish, okay? Doesn't mean you can go way out on it, but it still stays bullish. It would need 96 to get better. Snowman, 141, 146, under 136. Netflix, over and over again, can't get through 331. 331, 339, okay? 339, underneath... 321. I actually like Netflix 290s for earnings next week. We're going to look at those. Okay. Uh, BIIB. Can it get through 291? Another one. You get a cancer drug approval and you don't even move 15 points. How the world has changed. 291, 299, 281. Uh, Bitcoin lower. Tried to pop, didn't go a little bit lower. 216. Bitcoin needs to get through 20 or it's all just fake. Boeing, 216, 209. NOW, 411, 416, under 404. MDB, 191, 193, under 183. Tesla, 109, 103. Moderna, can't seem to get through 193. End phase, can't seem to get through 244. That's what we know. That's what we know. That's when our car lease payments are at the highest of one, one k a month recently in an article. People are just silly. Think, think, think about this. Let me let me give you something very interesting. Go look and see how much you drive, how many miles you drive. Some people drive a lot, but other people don't. And let's say you pay a thousand a month for a car payment. And you pay another 200 a month for your insurance payment, okay? And then you pay gas and everything else. You have 1300 1400 If you took a $25 Uber everywhere, in and out, in and out, in and out, are you, are you negative or are you positive? Interesting. Do that. That's all we know. Everybody have a great 10 days. See you in chat.